Uh, hey, what's up? Um, um, in order to jailbreak 2.2.1, which I'm gonna show you how to jailbreak it, is you must jail you must ha um up update your iPod or iPhone to 2.2.1. There, you might not be able to see it, but it's okay. And you must have your iPod or iPhone completely restored. Okay. Um. And to get quick pwn, you can just quit iTunes, it doesn't matter. To get quick pwn, um, just go in the description and click on it. Uh, when you click on it, um, it will automatically download it for you. So then, you don't have to worry about like, clicking anything. And quick pwn is right there. Right there. Quick pwn, and you just go ahead and click on that. Alright, All right, so what you're going to do, you're going to open up quick pwn. You're just gonna go ahead and click OK, and click OK again. Oh, you can you you are gonna choose which thing you have. And I already clicked um uh whatever you call it iPod Touch. Um, say so um when the one it shows that those three things up because my computer's a little screwed up right now from me like hacking all this crap. Um, it just goes ahead and clicks on um. I um iPod touch for me, but if you have if you're using like an iPhone the first the second generation, um then you can go ahead and click on that one. Alright, so what you're gonna do, click yes. And what the, uh what this does is when you turn your iPod on, um an apple symbol comes up. But what what it's gonna do now, it's gonna make a pineapple come up. So just click yes. And now it's you can see how it's building the IPSW. All right, now what's now it's now what it's going to ask you is to type in your password. So just go ahead and type it. It's to your computer, and just click OK. Now it's saying to turn off your iTouch or iPhone. So what you're gonna have to do is just turn it off. Now I'm turning it off. Now what it's saying, now what it's going to do is going to tell you, to, now it's telling you to um, hold the home and sleep button. And you hold it for 10 seconds. Now release the home, I mean the sleep button. And you hold the home button for 10 more seconds. Now let go. All right, and look, the pineapple, right there. All right, so now what's doing? It's like sending all of its information into it. Yeah. I'll just wait till it loads. So now it's still got this right now, and now it's modifying your device. So just go ahead and click OK. As you can see, about a little spinning dot right here. And it says, I has success with a little kitty. And now a big quick pwn has appeared on your iPod Touch or iPhone. So you can just let it load. Um, the screen might flash on your iPod Touch or iPhone. I thought something was wrong at first, but it's totally fine. Alright. So you can just let it go. Alright, it's almost done. And then just kind of wait until it's done. Because now it's going to be syncing file systems, and now it's going to be like, re yeah, now it's rebooting. And see the little pineapple? Yep, and so just kind of like let it um, go for right now. And then. Um, Cydia and installer will appear on your um, iPod Touch or iPhone. Um, it's not good to do this on the uh, iPhone 3G because, um, oh, and here it is. Because you don't want to do it is because every time you turn your iPhone off, it's only for the 3G. 
um, you have to like plug it back in and like get the system to work for it. I don't know. I mean, they might have fixed it already, but yeah. And see, I have Cydia and Installer. So you jailbreak an iPod Touch. Um, the thing is with Installer, it's way different um, than the other jailbreaks. Yeah. So um, thanks for watching this. Um, bye.